everyone so here's an update video so far of uh so when we painted the uh the interior with the black uh, duplicolor so far the interior um has been holding up it's been a few months uh, there it is as you can tell now the only thing that i don't like is that it's not completely scratch proof um as you can tell right there uh, let me close the door so you can get a better view so right there with my armrest it has been peeling off but i'm constantly constantly rubbing there uh with my hand uh another thing that happened to it uh, you can tell let's see where's the scratch there's a scratch here somewhere oh right there i'm sure you can see them right there those scratches um so i have a pocket knife that i always carry with me and every time i'm coming out of it the, the door it swipes um it scratches against the door panel right there so like i said it's not completely 100 percent scratch proof but it does resist against uh, the weather uh it does resist against weight uh fading so right there the sun visor i'm always constantly using it since we're here in california um, it's holding up pretty well, especially with my dirty fingers all the time. Uh, the trim around it has been holding up well. Uh, only a few scratches. I'm not sure if you can tell right there. And that's from my hat. It just completely scratched it right there. So, uh, so far the paint, it's okay. It's not the best, uh, but it's also not the worst. It's not completely scratch proof, but then again, it doesn't really specify that it's for plastic. It says uh, vinyl and fabric. Now, some of the vinyl parts in the truck, it's been holding up much better than the plastic overall. So, that may be we needed to use a different paint for the plastic parts. I'm not too sure. But next video, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be painting what's the remainder of the truck, which is a dash. And I think I'm going to get started on that today. All right. Okay, so now that I've shown you guys the, uh, the updates on what previously was painted, we're going to go ahead and finish the rest of it. What I plan to do is take off as much as I can. I'm not sure if I'm going to take off the whole dash completely, uh, but I am going to take off, let's say, this uh, cluster panel right here. Uh, so we just pop these off. There's a couple of screws that hold that in place. I obviously took off the, uh, the glove box. It's not too bad. All you just do is push these pins in and then just you're able to all they do is just sit right there so you just push them in and you're able to release the uh the glove box um then there's this little panel right here uh there is holding it in place are these clips as you can see i was able to remove the cover for these knobs right here uh once again once you remove this clip there's just two screws that hold it right there it's able to release that um, then we're gonna go ahead and see as much, uh, try to take off as much of it as I can so I can paint it outside. Then I'll mask the whole window, everything else, and then whatever I can take off, I'll just spray paint it in the truck. Okay, so it's been about, I want to say, uh, an hour and a half, almost two hours, and this is the progress I've gotten so far. <clears throat> so removing the actual cluster right here is not too bad. Um, so you just remove those two panels right there, it's screws, and the whole actual trim around it comes off. Then the cluster is just hold in by four screws right there and it comes out. Um, the one that was difficult to get out was this piece that goes right here, right over the radio and then the glove box. It has, uh, let's see, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven screws that screw into it from inside um, getting these last two right here was a pain I had to remove the radio which is right there and it, it popped off easily after that um, I think that's as far as I'm gonna take it 
uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paint what I've gotten off paint it outside obviously get everything cleaned up because <clears throat> it's completely filthy get that all cleaned up and um, I don't know if I want to go ahead and remove the whole actual panel because uh, it looks like it's a lot of work so I might just leave it right here clean everything off and paint it in the truck just mask everything off and then these parts like I said just paint them outside okay so now we're at the point <clears throat> where I got most of everything that I needed to take off so I took the trim pretty much around the dash uh, so that the dash I'm just gonna leave it in place uh, and then just paint it while it's on the car everything else as you can see I've been trying to mask it off just so I don't get anything on the uh, so anything on the seats or on the actual on the roof of the truck on the top of the truck so uh, I don't get any paint there and then I'll just put a plastic sheet around here right now but right now let's go and paint the uh, the glove box the, and then the other little trims that I took off and let's also clean the uh, the instrument cluster as well so let's go ahead and do that okay so here's the cluster off the truck as you can see it's extremely dirty especially inside right there uh, let's see yeah all the little trash inside so we're gonna go ahead and just remove these screws right here and take it apart so we can go ahead and clean it okay so I got the uh, the little plastic off the cluster here it is like I said it's just these screws that hold it in place so now we can go ahead and just clean all this gunk right there go ahead and do that Okay, so I just finished cleaning the cluster and uh, it's right there. The not so nice part is it's plastic so you can see a lot of the scratches that it's had in the past. But overall inside, uh, here let me get that glare off. No, you can't really tell but it's much much clean than it was before. <clears throat> there we go much cleaner so that's a plus right there now let's go ahead and paint off the uh, glove box and all the little uh, extra trim I took off the uh, the dash so we're gonna go ahead and hit it with this uh, vinyl and fabric but I also bought check this out adhesion promoter plastic adhesion promoter so I'm gonna see if that works much better uh, at, at the uh, the paint actually sticking to the plastic because um, like I said it wasn't sticking as well on the door or at least it wasn't scratch proof as they uh, initially claimed it was so let's go ahead and hit it with the plastic adhesion promoter see if that helps uh, if it helps then Okay, so I just finished painting the trim that I could take off. So first I hit it with the uh, plastic adhesion promoter. Hmm, gave it two coats of that, and then three coats of the um, vinyl and fabric paint. So right now, we're just gonna let that dry. And then go and hit uh, right now the uh, the actual inside of the cab. Okay, I'm inside the cab now, and it's uh, I got everything masked off. I probably went a little bit more overboard than I should have, um, but we're ready to go. 
I got pretty much all this masked off where I don't want paint to get in. So right there, and then the air vents, I don't want no paint to get in there. So right now what I'm gonna do, it's uh, first go ahead and put some of the, the uh, hit it with the wax and grease remover, which is that right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and again, uh, hit the whole dash right there with the plastic adhesion promoter which uh it seems to be working fine hopefully it works great like i said if it does work great then we're gonna redo the door panels uh, and afterwards hit it with uh, at least three coats of this uh, vinyl Let's see if it zooms in vinyl and fabric right there okay so the first coat of the adhesion promoter is going to be applied right now <clears throat> we're going to do like i said two coats of this adhesion promoter Alright, so it's been a few days since we uh, last finished painting this truck. So it's been drying for about three days now. Uh, and the results, man, are amazing. Check it out. All the dash right there. So now it's all black. On black, on black. Yeah, so it's it's the truck looks great i mean check out the doors yeah the only thing i have to get done next would be the seat belts uh, i found a company that would do them for about a hundred dollars for the both of them the drivers and passengers and then the middle one i'm not too sure yet on that if i'm gonna pull the triggers quite expensive for right now but i'm impressed on how it left the dash the vinyl and duplicate check that out i'm extremely uh impressed um, like I said, this paint, I want to see how it lasts with the adhesion promoter. Hopefully it's a little bit more resistant than uh, without it. I'll let you guys know. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until next time. Later.